Now we're going to divide using long division. How do we do this? This may take uh, a little bit of time. So we're going to divide by x minus 2. How do I know this is going to work out? Well, assuming I don't make any mistakes, uh, I chose this polynomial carefully. But you'll see in the next chapter, or the next section, how you would go about picking this and testing it out. So if we're going to get remainder 0, if we look back to the remainder theorem, what that will mean is this should be a factor. So how can we check that? So if we remember the correspondence theorem, x minus 2 corresponds to x equals 2 being a 0. So how is x equal 2 being a 0? And what does that look like? That means our polynomial's name is p. p of 2 better equal 0. Let's check, just to be sure, before we start getting into the process of division. So p of 2 equals 0. We're going to take 2 and plug it in wherever we see x. So what is p of 2? 2 cubed minus 2 squared. I don't have to be too careful because 2 is positive, so I don't have to worry about this squaring to negative. It's going to be positive. And minus 8 times 2 plus 12. We get 8 minus 4 minus a lot plus 12, hopefully we got minus 20 here. 8 plus 12 is 20 equals 0. All right, we got 0 here, so we better have a factor. How do we do long division? The textbook does synthetic division. I'm going to do long division. So your textbook uses synthetic division. That can sound more exciting. You're absolutely allowed to use synthetic division. And I am not going to. So your book has synthetic division. You can follow along with their division. Uh, it's pretty similar to long division. You do the same operations. It just requires less writing. Now if you look, this has all powers of x. You don't need to write x to the first here. You also don't need to write x to the zero, but I have a polynomial with no missing terms. I have every single term in here. How many times does x minus 2 go into x cubed? This is the weird part. It goes in x times. So how do we do long division? You multiply this term by this. So what is x times x minus 2? Pretty easy to do. x squared, mm, oh, it goes in x squared times. So x squared times x is x cubed minus 2x squared. Now, if you add these, you'll get 2x cubed. But remember, long division, you subtract. Don't just subtract the first term, you subtract both terms. x cubed minus x cubed. 0 x cubed. You better get 0 whatever this term is or else there's a mistake somewhere. Now we're going to subtract negative 2. So it's really plus 2x squared. So negative x squared plus 2x squared is plus 1x squared. Now you're going to bring the next term down right here minus 8x. How many times x minus 2 go into x squared? It goes in x times. You're going to notice that you're basically going to, you pick up a free power of x here, so the term above will be one degree lower than what's down here. And let's go ahead and x times x is x squared and negative 2x. Don't forget to subtract. x squared minus x squared is 0x squared. So I'm not going to bother writing 0 here. Negative 8x plus 2x is negative 6x. Bring down the plus 12. How many times does x 
go into negative 6x, it goes in negative 6 times, I will pick up an x here. So negative 6 times x, negative 6x, six negative 6 times negative 2, plus 12, but remember we are subtracting. Negative 6 plus 6, we get x's cancel, 0x's, 12 minus 12, 0. This 0 is very important. We're at the end right here, there's nothing past this, so our remainder is 0. It's really important that you have a 0 remainder. So we just did a division here. If I write this out, p of x divided by x minus 2 equals x squared plus x minus 6. And I'm going to multiply Fractions suck, in my opinion. I like this form a lot better. All I did was multiply by x minus 2. What did we accomplish? We accomplished factoring p of x into these two factors. I'm going to now divide this new quotient, this x squared minus x minus 6, by x plus 3. We're going to get x, x times x, x squared, x times 3 is 3x, subtract, cancel, x minus 3x minus 2x minus 6, minus 2, minus 2 times 3 is minus 6, subtract, cancel, minus 2 plus 2, 0x, minus 6 plus 6, 0. And what that means, if I multiply these two, what I will get is this. And I can write this as x plus 3, x minus 2 squared. If I were to graph, I would have a cross x-intercept, a bounce x-intercept, and I would look up here for n behavior. It would be positive odd. That will be, and you can see the y-intercept right here. That will be plenty of information to graph p of x right there.